Today on the channel, we're road racing with the Ground Ripper and Mechanek Masters Universe Origins Collection. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Masters Universe unboxing and review. And today, we truly are off to the races with the old Ground Ripper. Don't call it the Road Ripper, you guys know that, but of course we also got Mecha Neck in tow. But for all your Ground Ripper needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items, and of course anything over $39 does ship free. Gotta get a deal out there, but the Ground Ripper is here here. One of the more iconic Masters Universe vehicles for me as a child, as I did have both of these when I was a little kid. I don't know where this sits in the whole pantheon of vehicles. The Battle Ram is pretty iconic. I, the Battle Bones, if you call that a vehicle, I kind of do in some ways. Uh, of course, the Roton, the Wind Raider. Uh, there's a lot of iconic vehicles, but for me, just because I had so much fun as a kid playing with this one, this is a very iconic one. And Mecha Neck, one of my all-time favorites as well. I already know I'm going to be a little bit disappointed hopefully not a lot disappointed in this figure and we'll talk about that and of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and of course this is now the ground ripper it used to be called the road ripper apparently the ip rights to this thing uh, got lost somewhere in the shuffle so they had to change the name not that big of a deal, but I think a lot of us, especially if we had the original, we're going to slip up and call it Road Ripper from time to time. So if I make that mistake, uh, don't hold it against me. But uh, the Ground Ripper is here today, as well as Mecha Neck. But let's look at the packaging here. Modern posing, retro play. Big window, very minimalistic window there. Very 80s style packaging where, they, you know, they weren't all about shrinking packaging down to uh, save space in the box. They weren't looking for fancy backgrounds, things like that. It was just, here is the figure in a box. Box, take it there it is so very very cool of course got the old school like flap up here of course you can put these together side to the side in the case so it does work really nice got a nice glamour shot right up there masters of the universe mecha neck and ground ripper speed mecha neck into combat okay we will do that uh mecha neck and ground ripper on the side there very missed opportunity here from the mattel team usually they put some kind of uh, easter egg something here even if it's like a little gremlin or a lizard or something just very very plain same thing on that side as well on the top, you get a little uh, volcanic volcanic ash, and you get a little bit of a like a griffin or a gremlin of some kind there, but we do get a little action there. Of course, on the back, we got Mecha Neck, we got the Ground Ripper, we got them just chilling out. He's being all sneaky-like, looking over there at, what is that, Tongue Lasher and King Hiss up there on the hill. So he's checking out, he's spying, he's doing his spying thing. Of course, got the big cross cell down below. Check out the reviews on the channel of everything there. And then a little bit of uh, instructions like the old school days right there. Uh, what's it say here? Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters Universe action figures. Masters Universe Origin gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action packed battle positions. It does say Mechanek races the high speed ground ripper to scout out evil enemies encroaching on the battlefield. And uh, very, very cool. Like I said, this is a very iconic two pack of my childhood. Of course, they weren't a two pack back then, but I had both of these guys as a kid. Uh, the weapon or I guess Mecha Neck and the Ground Ripper. Uh, my dad's coming over tomorrow. He's going to say, oh my gosh, I haven't seen those in 100 years. That's what he's going to say when he sees them. Uh, that should be fun. Oh, get them out there. Nothing fun. So we're going to get the old see you later. Goodbye. How about the cardboard prison? There it is, old Mecha Neck. we got a lot of stuff to break free here. See how well we can get this out of the package. Can we do it in record time? Somebody hit the old stopwatch. Somebody time this. See if we can get it done. See you later. Goodbye. Get the old scissors out. It looks like we're locked in on the old Ripper here. Uh, my favorite Ripper is probably Tim Ripper Owens. I think a lot of you guys probably know Tim Ripper Owens. And if you don't, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, no. We got these little twist tie things. I don't even know what you call them, but you have to turn them to kind of break the plastic. This definitely slows down the unboxing. Uh, there's no way we are going to win a Guinness Book of World Records here today. Just wasn't in the cards. Wasn't in the cards. We'll try better next time. Get that out. There it is. Twist tie. See you later. Now we get Mecha Neck out of the packaging. Plastic prison Mecha Neck. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Bear with me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. Goodbye. Up high over the top. See you later. 
Got a couple of accessories here. We'll dive into those as we always do. A little plastic tie. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Mechanic. And gosh, of course Mechanic is locked in. Why wouldn't he be? What are we what are we doing here, Mattel? We got him locked in at the feet. We got him locked in at the hands. They don't want Mechanic going anywhere. He's uh under house arrest, it feels like here. There it is. And can I get the other arm? There it is. Everything is finally free. It only took 20 minutes. See you later. Goodbye. And twist ties. Got quite the pile building up here today. All right, let's start it off. I guess we'll start with Mechanic. Why not? I guess we'll start with the figure first. Figures over vehicles? Sure, why not? Uh, like I said. So a little bit plain here, of course, Mechanic. One of my favorites as a kid. And one of the only ones, I know a lot of people complain about this line saying it's missing a lot of the gimmick stuff of the 80s ones. And I understand that a little bit, but it is uh, kind of uh, special, those 80s gimmicks. And we always remember them fondly, playing with them as a little kid. And for me, the, the one I remember most fondly is Mechanic. So I don't have a lot of problems with a lot of them, uh, mosquitoes of the world, things like that. I don't have issues, but Mechanic is one I really did enjoy. I love switching that waist and having that head pop up. I always thought that was a really cool feature on him. So this just does feel a little bit like it's missing something without that. It is a little bit disappointing, uh, but I understand, you know, it, it costs more. Of course, these are very cheaply made, a lot of reuse. We understand that. Uh, so they just didn't go that way. And instead, they decided to give us an extra head accessory type thing. I guess we would call it that way. Uh, but of course, you pop his head off, pop this on, pop the head on top of here. It gives that effect of the telescoping neck. It's just not quite the same thing, but I understand why they do it. Of course, you go back to the Masters Universe Classics line. I guess I have that right here. I could pull that out. Of course, we have Mechanic, and they did a very similar way of going to business here on Mechanic for that. It just is what it is. It just depends how you feel about those things. It's definitely not the end of the world, but something about turning that waist and seeing that head pop up, I always uh, did enjoy. But Mechanic, like I said, a favorite character of mine, and this is the Classics version. He does come with his uh, club, a very interesting club. Never really understood him. He feels like he would be, and I don't know, he feels like a scientific type guy, so it feels weird having him to just like a club like this, uh, but it is what it is. Once again, going back to the Merman days, always thought of Merman's sword as a piece of corn on the cob. I always kind of had that same feeling about this, maybe not to the same degree, uh, but it is all yellow, got the uh, you know spikes on there, all that kind of stuff. It's a mean club. I wouldn't want to be hit with this. Of course, it is in the iconic yellow. Uh, but Mecha Neck here, let's walk through it. Very interesting head, almost like a star type pattern. Got two triangles for eyes. I like that it's kind of reflective a little bit. Not quite mirror-like, but does have that. A very blank expression on his face. Of course, totally blue body. Everything is in blue. A lot of reuse from other He-Man figures. Hands we've seen many a times before. Does have a green belt, and of course, you know, he's rocking Eternia's loincloth. Everybody's got to have that. Then you got the He-Man style boots, but down there all in silver. Arms go all the way around, side to side at the elbow, back and forth, single jointed, back and forth on the hands, head back and forth, up and down. Pretty good movement on the hands here. Waist articulation, of course. He can do those big old splits. Boot cut, ankles back and forth. And of course, plug and play with these figures. We know we can pop the arms, heads, all that kind of stuff off. Create different figures, mix and match, do whatever you want to do. Head pops off really easy. You're going to put this on here. And we're going to make Mechanic classic Mechanic style. It's a lot of go back and forth, but I guess at least we have the option. So there it is. Not quite as iconic like I've been saying, uh, but definitely what we remember out of Mechanic. And I'm pretty sure when I do display him in my collection, I'll probably display him like this. I, I just think I have to. That's just the most iconic part of Mechanic for me. And of course, he holds his weapon very, very good. Just a very, very nice uh, looking modern rendition of Mechanic here. And of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Make sure you get the Mattel stands, as I always do say. And of course, he fits like a glove. There it is, Mechanic. Ruling the world, ruling the earth, ruling all of Eternia with his telescoping neck. So there is our old friend Mechanic. Now we turn our attention over to the Ground Ripper. And uh, let's see what we got here. First thing, touching this for the first time, feels much lighter than the Classic Edition. The Classic Edition had a little bit of weight to it. Of course, that's probably the change in plastics, change in technology, thing like that. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's uh, overly... I don't know, expensive. It doesn't feel super expensive here. It doesn't quite feel like a dollar toy store or a dollar store toy, but it's somewhere in between. I got to be honest, it is very, very light, but that is the changing in plastics, everything else. Stickers are all on here. I do really like that the stickers are on here. 
Of course, we remember back to the 80s, be it G.I. Joe, Transformers, whatever, He-Man, having to put stickers on all day long. My dad could write a book on horror stories of his time doing that kind of stuff. So it is nice that all this stuff is on here. And it actually looks like stickers this time. Sometimes they just kind of paint these things on now. But it does have that old school classic stickers vibe. Of course, you get the silver wheels, gray silver wheels looking really nice. You get the one in the front, two in the back. Definitely the Ground Ripper I do remember as far as looks. I see this and I immediately say, oh, there's the old Road Ripper or Ground Ripper now. Uh, and, of course, down to even the iconic seat belt. And I always had my guys seat belted in. It's got like a real type seat belt, movable plastic. It was a little bit more rubbery. I remember my childhood one, but very cool. Of course, you got one, two, three, four different notches for the seat belt. Choose your own seat belt adventure if you need to. Uh, but very, very cool. And of course, we remember back to the old Ground Ripper. One of the cool things, one of the fun things for it was you had that little cord that went inside there. And you would pull it and it would be going truly off to the races. It would be road racing like a young Riot, if you guys know the band Riot. Uh, check out Road Racing. Or check out Night Demons cover of Road Racing. Uh, it looks like we got two different heads. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, this is the one I think I remember more, but it's one of those things that kind of makes you get messed up when you look at it you're not sure which one's the old one which one's the classic one uh, but i thought i remembered this more to mine but i could be wrong this one is a, a very no frills on this guy over here so it makes you almost wonder if this was the original but for some reason this is kind of what i remember so it's, it's playing with my mind here playing with my mind but you can choose your own head adventure on here much like the sky sled i think wasn't that similar or what was the uh, the Roton. I mean, everyone has had a little bit of different things that you can mix and match to mix them up. Uh, the Sky Sled, you could switch the sides off. The Roton, you could put the kind of eye cover over. Uh, there is some different things you can do with this one, but I think I like this one a little bit better than the other one. They do plug and play very, very easily on there. This rolls very good. It is a very good rolling vehicle, so we do like that. And of course, Mechanek, you know, he's going to fit in there. I don't really remember, maybe maybe I'm just not thinking of it, but I don't really correlate Mechanek to this. I had both of these as a kid, and I'm sure Mechanek took some rides in it, but I never really correlated, oh, this is Mechanek's vehicle. Uh, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But when I think back to like the Battle Ram, I always think of uh, He-Man driving the Battle Ram. And when I think of the Rotan, I always think of Skeletor driving that. And when I think of the Wind Raider, I always think of Man-at-Arms in that. So maybe it's just my childhood playing and how I did it. But like I said, I don't really think of. And for some reason, I kind of remember I always put Triclops in this. And I don't know. Who knows? You know, kids are crazy, and I was a crazy kid too. So, But Mechanek does fit in there, looking really good, flying back and forth, looking nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love that we get vehicles for the Masters Universe collection. Of course, we got Eternia playset, Snake Mountain, Skull's already been out. Universe building, vehicle building, character building. Really, really cool to build a whole universe. And I love that these toys are fairly cheap in this day and age. And we're getting vehicles. Because we do know most action figure toy lines right now, we don't get vehicles. So there's a beauty here. There's a fun play aspect here for little kids. And who are we fooling? Old kids like me. So man, for nostalgia's sake, I'm all in on this Ground Ripper. I still want to call it the Road Ripper. But it is truly the Ground Ripper these days. Yeah, it doesn't have all the old bells and whistles. Yeah, you don't have the pole on the old days. But it is still really cool and it is nostalgic for me. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up this guy? You playing the long game? Or are you passing on the vehicles? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. You guys know we got videos every single day here on the channel. Three to four videos even some days. So we got a lot of content for you. You want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. Don't forget about the Patreon. Your best way to support the channel. You get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. And like I said, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 over there on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Ground Ripper and my old buddy Mechanek, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.